My name is Kimber McLeod. I'm co-producer of Copyright Criminals with Benjamin Franzen. And I first got involved in Copyright Criminals um, as a film because it originally started out as a chapter uh, from a book that I wrote called Freedom of Expression, Resistance and Repression in the Age of Intellectual Property Law. And I basically, I um, was acquainted with Ben Franzen. I knew he ran a media production company in Atlanta and he had equipment and he had skills and I pitched him the idea for the film. He liked it and so we started rolling <laughs> soon after that and that was about five years ago. I'm a communication studies scholar, media studies scholar and I have my PhD in that field but I specialized in media law and while I'm not uh, media law and copyright law and while I'm not trained as a lawyer I've been assisted by many, many brilliant um, law professors and practicing lawyers. So in many ways I'm self-taught uh, and I've been studying this stuff probably since 1991. I've produced two other educational documentaries um, uh, for the Media Education Foundation which specializes in um, distributing educational documentaries on issues of media, um, critical takes on media. And so I did a documentary called um, Money for Nothing in 2001, and it played at film festivals also, like South by Southwest and you know, other film festivals. And the same is true of my documentary Freedom of Expression, which is essentially kind of a multimedia companion piece to my book of the same title. And so I understand how, <clears throat> I understand how well media is produced and. Uh, a lot of my friends are media practitioners, so I've always had a decent understanding of what it takes to make an hour-long documentary. That's not to say that I went into it with uh, every bit of knowledge I should. I mean, it's definitely been a learning process, and by far, um, it's it, this is by far the most difficult uh, professional challenge of my life, working on copyright criminals. I would at least like to think that it will spark conversations, provoke dialogue. Um, the film by no means uh, purports to have answers for the kind of copyright messes that we found ourselves in um, in the early 21st century. Instead, we wanted to document a story that we felt was important, which is the way that uh, you know African American artists primarily helped bring remix culture into the mainstream. How they um, used the technological tools um, in ways that, well, really the manufacturers never intended them to use and came up with a new way of making music. And so there's no way in 54 minutes that the film can also address the solutions because really the solutions are still up for grabs and the solutions also are really complicated.